this video, I installed the plumbing and ventilation for a vivarium. A piece of Perspex is laser cut, through which a lot of the pipes will be mounted. The edges are marked out and sanded. Epoxy resin is applied and the mounting window is held in place with clamps until it dries. Plastic tubes are warmed with a hair dryer and bent and pushed through the holes in the Perspex window. Two outlet tubes are installed, one for the drainage and one for the overflow. The overflow is approximately 2 cm from the bottom, so that there's always a bit of water in the base. Longer tubes are connected to the shorter tubes, and on the ends I insert vials with screw caps to stop the flow of any water. The base of the vivarium is filled with water to see if there's any leakage, but also to check that the drainage tubes function well. I covered plastic elbow joints with cloth mesh. This will be part of the ventilation inlet system at the bottom of the vivarium. PVC pipe that fit into the elbow joints is cut and holes are drilled into each piece. A very simple one-way airflow valve is installed. It is just a small plastic disc that is mounted onto a piece of wire. The pipes with the valves are installed into the vivarium base and the elbow joints are fitted onto these pipes. Most pipes are pushed through two of the larger holes in the Perspex window. Holes are drilled to ensure that no water trap forms as these pipes will be connected to a humidifier. The humidifier and overflow jar is installed in a cabinet under the vivarium. A piece of mesh is placed over the drainage pipes to catch any small pieces of debris. It is held in place with a small Perspex box. Two extractor fans made in the previous video are installed into the lid. One internal fan is installed in a light fixture to circulate air. Four times a day the extractor fans run for a few minutes and fresh air is sucked into the vivarium from the bottom. The humidity is readjusted with the humidifier. The water level is kept constant at 2 cm in the base of the vivarium. Thanks for watching.